Welcome to uh, the G800. This is our very first uh, G800. We call it 88001. Uh, it is our only test flying airplane of the G800 program of two. Uh, the second one will be joining uh, later this year. Um, to give you a quick update, um, the, the program is going great. Uh, we've been flying this airplane uh, for, uh, I guess, since May now. Uh, we've been doing uh, envelope expansion. We've been doing flutter. Uh, we've been as high as 55,000 feet and out well above the max Mach number of the airplane. Um, the engines, uh, which are borrowed straight from the G700, are mature and uh, given us no problem whatsoever. Uh, we've, as you know, we've made it to Farnborough already, our first international flight. Um, the program so far is going great. Uh, some of the, the highlights, uh, you know, like I mentioned, we've been to 55,000 feet. That goes to show with the very powerful engines that we have with the Pearl 700s. Um, the airplane is highly efficient in terms of aerodynamics. The airplane is easily able to cruise uh, at as fast a cut speed as our customers are interested in to all the way out to our MMO number of 0.925 Mach. Um, plenty of power to do that. Uh, this airplane in particular has a number of systems uh, that allow us to test it. We've got our nose boom off the front. As you can see, we have the ability to uh, give us an independent source for air data so we can calibrate our air data systems. Uh, we have the ability to inject uh, uh, different types of uh, control inputs to control systems so we can measure the stresses and the strains on the wings. Uh, or for, and for flutter as well, we can inject pulses into the system to measure and make sure there's no flutter with this airplane, which there's not. We completed that and the airplane did great. Uh, we've been doing wing anti-ice and uh, environmental control system testing. Um, and the airplane, again, uh, because it uh, has so much proven on it already in the G700 program, is going to be a very quick program. Uh, we expect this airplane probably to certify 6 to 12 months after the G700. Uh, which right now is the second half of uh, 2023 for the G G700. We only have to do about a third of the amount of testing in the, in the 800 that we do in the 700. And the uh, testing, a lot of it is getting the performance data to write the flight manuals. So for example, takeoff and landing performance, climb performance, cruise performance, uh, we want to make sure that uh, the airplane is free of flutter um, and then of course we will test briefly in avionics, uh, wing anti-ice, ECS, uh, but a lot of testing we don't have to do. Next coming up will be field performance and uh, we'll also be we'll take advantage of this winter and do cold weather and icing. Well, a lot from a pilot's perspective. Uh, you have your active control side sticks. So our symmetry flight deck, which is common with the 400, 500, 600, 700, and 800. And, and some of the big aspects of that are the active control side sticks. So you can see the right one move in there as I move the left one. Um, that frees up a lot of room. As you can see, I've got my table out here. I can cross my legs in flight. I can be comfortable. Um, we have touchscreen controllers, uh, which we have 10 of them. We have a ton of automation uh, things in the checklist, like you can see everything here with the A in it. They self-check themselves. Uh, we've taken away all the, the, the tasks that pilots really didn't enjoy or were, we were felt somewhat meaningless in terms of testing all the systems and automated those types of things. Um, in addition, our data concentration network, which runs throughout the airplane, uh, replacing a lot of the traditional wiring system with a networked type of system. Uh, it's a smart system, so it does a lot of the functions for you. It senses the state of the airplane or the conditions that you're in, turns lights on, it turns pumps on, it takes care of you, for, turns your transponder, your weather radar, and your um, all, all the various lights on the, at the right times. So uh, the pilots will still get to do all the important decision making and uh, the flying of the airplane but a lot of the, uh, the menial tasks, so to speak, are, are now taken care of by the, uh, the airplane.